Hey yo, I stand outside the gates of Buckingham Palace Selling reef for puffing the trellis with the beef eaters Getting so high that whenever I drop shit It'll land on the window with your airplane cockpit Cannabis with the hot shit, crazy hot click Niggas is bloody idiots, nigga, they can stop this I'll increase my strength to a superhuman extent Nigga, your rhyme made worth six pence And if you can hear, smell, see, touch, and taste Then you don't need six senses to feel me punch you in the face From bricks to the clap it's your boy Marlo 420, and today we're gonna be doing the pad hacking tutorial. So let's go over the material if you gotta get for this. First thing you want is the Madcast controller. The solder points on these things are really big, so they're pretty easy to hack. Next, get yourself some wire snips and some wire. You want to get a 15 watt solder and on or a 30 watt solder, a hot glue gun, some electrical tape. You can go over to xgamer.com and get yourself the arcade bundle. It's only forty dollars, and it's a pretty good deal. You can make two joysticks out of this or a two player one. The Xbox controller. This one I'm using for this hack is made by Mad Cats. It's the best one to use for this hack. The solder points are real, real big on these. You don't really need to scrape any of the points off. Some, but not many. So, uh, it's really easy to solder onto. They're kind of hard to find. Best place to get them would be like flea markets, pawn shops, stuff like that. So, definitely want to get one of these. The thing we're going to want to do is take this controller apart. There's eight screws you're going to have to take out. You got them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you get all those screws out, we'll come back and then I'll show you what the motherboard looks like. The controller taken apart. Here's the motherboard stripped down. Now, a couple things on here we don't need. We don't need the knobs here. We don't need this knob. They just come off. We can just tear the motors right off. We don't need those. You can snip those with your scissors. So, these knobs come right off. You just pull them. They come right out. So, once you got rid of those, I've done this a million times. So, I just snatch the motors right off. Alright. Now we got that. As you can see, here's the D pad. The solder points are already exposed so they're pretty easy to get to these over here this is just a plastic shield you can peel that right off uh, I try to get it so you can see it nice and clear you'll see the copper traces right on top of the pad so you don't have to scrape anything to get to any of these traces here they're all right Stopping, hopping like a rabbit. When I take the Nina Ross, you know I got to have it. I lay back in the cut, retain myself. Think about the shit and I think it well. How can I make my grip? And how should I make that nigga straight slip? Said trip, got a giddy boy's grip as I dip around the corner. Now I'm on another mission, wishing upon a star. Snoop Doggy Dog with the cabbie dog. Okay, what I did right here is I soldered two leads, okay? The first lead is the down button here. Okay, I soldered that on. And then right here, it's a ground lead. Okay, this is at the bottom of the right trigger. It'll be in the diagram in the description. I've soldered these on first just to test to make sure my connection is good. The good thing about this controller, the Mad Cat Spring, is that they're a common ground controller, meaning you need one ground wire for every button. So this is my single ground wire, here's my down wire, and I'm about to solder in the side wire. You want to solder in one ground wire and at least one lead just to be able to test. You can test to make sure if what you're doing is right by taking the lead from the button and the lead from the ground wire, just like this, and touching them. You should hear the sound or see the move, the screen change. If you hear that sound, that's my screen changing. So, I'm going to solder on the rest of the D-pad, and then I'll get back and show you the diagram. Okay. Now that you got all the leads soldered on to the buttons, you want to take some hot glue and glue it all over the pad, just to make sure none of these cords come off. Now, right now, i got the D-pad all wired up, and the A, B, X, Y button right trigger and the ground button wired up. Now remember, once you got it all wired up and ready, double check and make sure all the buttons are working, then put the hot glue around the whole top of it. 
and you should be good. Now, in this diagram, the red line represents your contacts, and the blue line represents your ground. You want to daisy chain the ground to each arcade button, then attach the red contacts to each positive. So the blue line is your negative, the red lines are your positive. Once you wire that all up, you should be good to go. Stopping, hopping like a rabbit. When I take the Nina Ross, you know I got to have it. I lay back in the cut with Tamer.